Hey guys, Jeremy here, and Supernatural, apparently, according to this website here, has been renewed for a season 14. And it is not even certain whether this is the final one, leaving it open for season 15, and them reaching the goal of a third hundred episode. Dead? What's wrong with AIDS? Why doesn't anyone want me to give them AIDS? There he is, beating that dead horse! Get him! Well, after starting with that, I'll express how I feel. Well, to be honest, that is pretty impressive. The fact that this show is going to go a 14 whopping seasons is definitely something that Eric Kripke probably never imagined, or anyone who started watching this show ever imagined. The only other show that they is ahead of them is Gunsmoke, and Gunsmoke came out in 1955 and lasted a total of 20 years and produced over 600 episodes. So I don't think Supernatural is going to hit the episode number, but literally if it lasted six more years it would tie for season length. But as I stated with those little videos, I do believe we are beating a dead horse here, people. The fact that this show has lasted as long as it has is amazing. But I also believe it is in the financial reasons of how this show is produced that is key to why it is still going. For instance, there are only two main characters, really, the brothers. And they don't have as big of a salary for actors as one normally would, but what they do have instead is investments in the show. They are side producers, and they make a shit ton of money from this show. And the fact that the episodes are so easy to make, because these brothers, from people who I have worked with, who have watched these guys work, say they can literally get in and out of character like that. But when you've done a character for over 10 years, that would be something you would hope. And apparently the runtime for making the season is incredibly simple. But as for where this show has to go, it's got nowhere. It's got nowhere to go. For instance, this season, season 13, they are trucking back season 5, which is what season 11 did, admittedly of a little bit higher, I didn't, can't even believe that, stakes with the second being of first creation versus God and all that other business, which is why I like season 11 is because I felt that the brothers were at risk. Season 12 was an absolute fucking garbage mess. It was. For those of you who still believe it was a good season, I don't... I honestly try to see what you see with it. There were some decent episodes littered in it, but the overall arc with the British Men of Letters was fucking garbage. It was shit. This one has a lot more of an interesting aspect because we still don't know who's going to be the main antagonist. Is it going to be Lucifer, who somehow is now the King of Heaven? Is it going to be someone from hell? Maybe Walker, Texas Ranger guy is going to actually be a threat. He's going to be stronger, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Or there is Michael from the alternate universe who could come over. Or Jack could possibly go evil. What I am hoping for season 14 is that this season doesn't resolve the issue. It's not going to kill off all the bad and then we're literally we're just going to get a bad thrown in the last 30 seconds to make up for the entirety of the next season. Admittedly, season 12 did do that right to an extent. So with season 14, we will either see Jack still as a prominent character. I'm really hoping his moral ambiguity is going to come into play. I hope there's going to be a bit of an Anakin Skywalker sort of story with him, a fallen hero. And I'm hoping that whether it be Lucifer or it be Michael, I'm really hoping that they're able to bring something new to them. Because after season 11, Lucifer got heavily pacified. He's not a big thing anymore. We've already seen that, you know, he's still not as powerful, he's lost his grace, blah 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 stuff. So he's still not a threat, so really the only threat left is Michael. But where will the show go? Is Mary going to still be part of it? I hope to fuck not, because she's just a terrible character. I'm hoping that 
they don't run this into the ground. Every time I see Supernatural be confirmed for another season, I think of shows like How I Met Your Mother or Dexter, Dexter being a big one. So when I say this, guys, I'm not saying this to be negative. I'm not saying this to be mean. I am just saying I hope that this show will end on a good note and it will somehow not drag itself through the mud. Because honestly, I don't know how this show is going to end. Because if the brothers die, it's not going to be satisfying for any of us because of what the brothers have gone through. It won't be. You can already see it yourself. If they are killed, you are not going to be satisfied. You're not going to be satisfied with it because of what they've already been through. Sam literally jumped into the cage of hell to defeat Lucifer by locking himself in the cage with him. The brothers were able to divert a spirit bomb shit and God and the other being of internal darkness made up. So literally anything that they face is going to be circumstantial. So what I actually do hope is that how the show will end is it's going to show them at an older age or something. I don't know, with the world being all great and whatnot. Because Jared Padalecki has said in interviews that the only way that the show will end in his eyes is that the brothers die. And yeah, you can do that, but you're not going to satisfy everyone. You're not going to satisfy even half of them, in my opinion. But anyways, that is my thoughts on Season 14. And we also have the Scooby-Doo episode coming up, so that's going to be interesting. Hopefully it'll be funny. I'm really hoping that they put a little bit of uh, violence <laughs> into Scooby-Doo, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts? What do you think about Supernatural being renewed for a 14th season? Did you ever think that? Are you happy? Are you upset? Are you questioning how this show can somehow still keep going? Anyways, leave those comments in the area below. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you're interested in more, maybe subscribe, because I do do reviews for the new episodes, as well as the old ones, very slowly, mind you. And in the end, guys, that's all for me. Hope to see you guys next time.